I have beautiful parents, but I wasn't born beautiful. Every mirror I have ever stood in front of in a quiet moment has shown me that I'm imperfect. A bit broken, a bit sorrowful, a bit alone sometimes, and a bit apart. I see a man whose mind is not simple, whose intentions are never pure, a man whose senses are just a blizzard often, and whose flocked words have flown. And as an artist, I'm not alone in this. What remains after you take away from the entire history of art, everything that is fashionable, gaudy and meretricious, are the stumbling efforts of men and women to describe a perfection they know exists, but can't be grasped. An order, a simplicity and a completeness that is just beyond their touch. And of course, artists aren't alone in feeling like this. This is no more than the movement of a created soul towards its beautiful creator. Often the great sadness is that our living 70 years is not long enough to make one perfect gesture, one perfect thing, one object that is absolute. But I'm not an unhappy man. I'm a joyful man, in fact. One of the reasons for that joy is that things do exist that thousands of generations of people have been working on with an immense focus and singular care. Among the greatest of this type of thing is a living thing, Aquas, the horse. And I mean thousands of years of people dreaming of an idea of perfection in an unbroken chain have given us the horse and horse breeds. In so many ways, the horse is born beautiful. It's beautiful in its bearing, beautiful in its proportions, beautiful in color, in coat. The names to describe it are beautiful. Coronet, fetlock, muzzle, gaskin, hock, stifle, withers, cannon, paston, and poll. Their movement is hypnotizing because it is so beautiful. But most of all, their spirit is beautiful, their lack of guile, their willingness, their courageousness at times, the aristocratic aloofness of the thoroughbred, the power of the polo pony, the sheer effervescence of the Arabian. The way in which a stallion directs his attention to his mare with such single-minded honesty, and the way she receives his approach with such dignity is beautiful because they are faultlessly everything they were ever designed to be. They are amazing, and the people who create them are amazing. With my brushes, let me show you the horse, one of my great joys.